Hey guys, this is That Snazzy iPhone Guy, and today I have an unboxing here for you today. Um, it did come in the mail today. The BOA, uh, the BOA sleeve, the BOA case for uh, iPhone 3G. So if you look there, it was sent from Jamaica, New York to me. Um, there we go. And uh, um, it, it took a really long time for them to process this. I ordered this about 12 days ago. So uh, it, it was a bit of a disappointment. I contacted them two days ago and said, hey, listen, um, today's the 19th, I believe. Let's see, what does my phone say? Yeah, today's the 19th. I contacted them on the 17th and said, hey, where's my case? And they said, oh, we just shipped it out today. And I was like, oh, really? So that kind of, that was a downer for me. Anyway, let's get to the, oops, let's get to the unboxing. Now, you're gonna be mad with me. Um, I was too excited. And uh, I couldn't shoot a video this morning, so I pre-unboxed it. But uh, I'm just going to go through the same routine I would have before. Okay, so uh, it was in this bag. They sent it through DHL, not FedEx or anything, which is a little odd. We pull it out of this bag here. And this is what was interesting. You get a CD mailer. Uh, they, they stick a CD in here. It says, don't bend or fold, avoid exposure to magnetic fields, and I thought that was funny. Um, has my address and uh, my phone number on here. Probably shouldn't give that out to you, but I will anyway. And uh, you open it up, and there it is, the bow. It, this is just a bubble wrap mailer. Why they sent it in that, I'm not sure, but uh, hey, you know. Okay, the packaging is very, very basic. Um, just a paper or paper plastic sleeve. Uh, they don't need to make it that complex because uh, they're not selling it in stores. So I mean, this is just something you order online. They don't need to make it fancy because you've already bought it, you know? So uh, what I was curious about is that this was already pre-opened. I didn't open this. It was already slid open at the top. So I was like, huh, it's kind of weird. Did someone return it or what happened? Because uh. Mine was open. I mean, it's still pristine. I don't, it doesn't matter to me, but that was kind of odd. Um, Broprotector.com, they claim it's the world's thinnest case. So you pull it out here, just your paper or plastic sleeve. Pull this off right here. This is just a cardboard inlay with a snake on it. And uh, pull this open right here. They have some literature about uh, other cases. Case edumacation, hold device with your right hand. And some of you prefer, it's very informal. I mean, like they, some of you, the letter U. Um, uh, they say you can insert the headphone jack and then flip it through the loop. I didn't know that. Uh, to eject, pinch from the bottom, remember to keep your grip tight, and that's it, you know. Uh, Bowprotector.com. Play it safe, enjoy. Um, oh, there we go. Now this is extremely thin. Uh, if you look in comparison to the iPhone, it comes to about the size of the screen. So I was like, man, that cannot be for the iPhone. Um, I mean, I knew it constricted, so I knew this was for the iPhone 3G, but I was thinking, man, that is way skinnier than I thought it'd be. Um, so I'm gonna wipe my phone off because it's nasty. And uh, so, just for fingerprints, guys. I don't want to show you my nasty fingerprinted phone. And uh, there we go. So uh, anyway, uh, this is it. I got the uh, yin yang one. I don't know what they call it. It's the white and the black. So there's white on one side, black on one side. I really, really like the white color. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but I love this color. The black is, I mean, it's decent. But if I had to choose between an all black and an all white, I would go all white for sure. So uh, anyway, this is really thin. So I was thinking, man, it does fit in there because it's almost scary to stick it in the first time because it constricts. When you go to stick it in the first time, you honestly think that it's made for a different phone. Um, I've pulled this in several times today, so it's worn in. But the first time, it's almost like... You're almost like trying to get it over to the other side. It's really, really, I mean, if I was the average person, if I didn't know, if I hadn't seen videos before, I honestly would have thought it was for a different 
different phone, different device. Now if you look at that, look how much it curves in and then then fits to the device. Um, so that's really, really odd, um, but hey, it works. Uh, the seaming is r pretty decent. I mean, uh, there it is. You can see it, I mean, it's but it's pretty good. Uh, there, it's not coming apart, I don't think. Um, when you flip it inside out, people have been wondering, what is the inside material? Um, it's kind of, I don't want to say a felt, but it is. It's a little felt inside it. It's very soft. Uh, your phone is not getting scratched in here. Um, there's the tag right there. I don't really prefer that. It, I would have liked it if they just stamped it down there instead. But you know, it's alright. Uh, it's the cable management. Um, and so there's the inlay for each color, black, black inlay, white, white inlay. Uh, it feels like an artificial felt. Uh, this leather doesn't feel real. Uh, it, yeah, I don't, I think it's artificial. But, uh, feels nice. So, uh, there we go. Uh, you can stick it in top or bottom. Uh, the displays show bottom first so you can get to your hold button. I like sticking it in top first because, uh, there's the speakers and my bottom from the uh, beautiful, beautiful capsule rebel jerk. Um, the bottom of my phone is already scratched up, so there's that darn, darn switch easy. Um, so what I did was you just stick your thumbs down there, pull, and there you go. Have it over. Um, fits great. Uh, it curves. It it matches the curvature, the design of the phone. Uh, you can see there that it does in fact curve down, curve onto the sides, the front is flat. I really do like the white guys, the black, eh, it's alright, not a huge fan. They also have other colors like pink and stuff like that, but uh, there it is, boa. And uh, so, the top is completely exposed, I mean there is a little bit of fold right here if you push it all the way down in there, for the chrome doesn't quite cover it, if you stick it down in there really far, you can manage to get it over, but not really. It still leaves the bottom totally exposed. If this went to a fall on the side, I can imagine that slipping up uh, doesn't seem like a good thing. This is more of a scratch protector case instead of a drop protection. Because when you drop it, it's just the same. It's the drop for the phone, you know. Uh, other than that, though, I like it. Uh, it feels really nice. It's definitely form-fitting. It's very thin. And, uh, yeah, you just squeeze it to get it out. Pull it out, and there you go. And then, uh, that's about it, guys. You can stick it in bottom first. Uh, once you get it worn out, which takes several times in and out, I'm still wearing it in, but you can slide it in and out much faster. And uh, so, I mean, it is, I can see how this would become a pain. I don't think I'm going to be regularly using this. Um, in and out, you know, I, it's very odd, very... I don't know. Uh, now, this would fit with an invisible shield, I would imagine, because the invisible shield doesn't leave that much extra room, and although this is extremely tight, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. As for the, uh, as for back protection without scratch, I was thinking, oh, maybe the contour flick would fit in here. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Uh, this is so tight fitting, the foam barely fits in there, so contour flick, I'm guessing no way. Uh, it does, when you get it, it's very thin, very, very, very form-fitting. It opens up a little. It, just after a day's use, it's a little deformed. Uh, for $20, it seems a little bit pricey. But if you're looking for a good case with a good inliner, good sleeve, I should say, because it's not really a case, then I check out the uh, Boa Protector for the iPhone 3G. It's really nice, and uh, I like it. So for what that's worth, there you go. Thank you, guys. This is that snazzy iPhone guy, and as always, I can't do it. I was going to say stay snazzy, but there we go. <laughs> stay snazzy. See ya.